Okay, so let's crack on. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to act, we're going to get this button here working, the tile placer, and that's so we can switch back from uh, changing solid tiles. So if we go to the code and we find our button for this tile placer, and we put in an on-click event. And we'll just make a new function. We'll put a function in there called tile placer. <coughs> it will come here, and make the code, uh, make the function even. <coughs> so as you can, um, as we done in the make solids function what we'll do is we'll just copy that code in and we'll just change uh, the text that's been uh, changed in the mode uh, on the mode span so instead of it saying solidize it now says um, play, uh, tile placer and on the each loop what we want is we want instead of um, accessing every div inside of the map box by using this um, greater than symbol it's saying uh, every direct div inside of the map box so that's all that's only the 100 tiles rather than anything inside of the, uh, the divs that which make up the tiles as well. I've changed it on toggle grid as well. It's map box every div inside of uh, the map box, every direct div inside of the map box and we'll also do it on the make solids and we'll just save that and just come over and make sure it works like so <coughs> and there we have it right on the um, toggle grid what I'm just going to do is I'm going to remove that sign and I'll show you what happens if that sign wasn't there so we've placed in our um, solid tiles and we toggle the grid off and when we toggle the grid back on you can see around each of these X's an extra border has appeared that's because it's targeting every div inside of the map box rather than only the divs that are direct sort of directly um, inside the map box <coughs> okay so we've changed it on uh, make solids function and we've changed it we've made it on the tile placer function so we've also got to change uh, the attribute from toggle solid to place tile as was as because it is the original function so once we save that we can place in individual tiles we can change the solids and place more tiles in there that would make the solids and now we've switched back we can come back to placing individual tiles in there. Now at the moment you'll see that by clicking on here the solid tiles are vanishing and that's because inside of the um, solid tiles div I'm placing an extra div 
so I'm layering these up if we have a look I think it's this one sorry now I'm no all I'm doing is I'm replacing the um, solid div with one which says class tile plane so we've we're actually losing our um, div and on top of that we're uh, we're placing we've got two tiles we've got one we've got um, one which we originally had down and now we've got a, the same tile which is placed above that tile if that makes any sense to you I hope it does so to get around this what we're going to do is we're just going to hide the um, the the divs which contain the solid tiles so if we go if we say each anything with a class of tile solid and we'll just hide it oops so now we're going to have function and we'll say this dot hide and we also want to take this and we want to place it put it in the uh, make solids as well but this time we want to show so they appear back let's place some in, we'll ch go to change solid tiles and we'll place a row of solid tiles and then we'll click tile placer and they're vanished but um, if we just click or we'll change the tile that's going down there and if we click change solid tiles those solid tiles remain intact right so one last thing we want to do with this is if we're on solid tiles if we're making solids and we highlight this and click fill I don't think it actually done what it was usually doing what it used to do Block tile solid no it didn't okay I'm not sure why previously I was experiencing that um, it was filling but it was over sort of overwriting the solid tiles like it like we were doing when we were placing single tiles okay so <clears throat> right, that's all fine oh no I know where. right on the drag to select um, I've changed the selectables rather than having it um, div I've given it given them divs an ID of tile and I've made the selectables uh, the ID of tile so that's why that problem was sorted out alright so now we've got our basic map making um, facilities working the next thing we want to do is to work on saving the file so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can construct a function that, oops, excuse me that um, we'll make this work and then we'll come back and discuss the code okay so it took me a, a while to get this working properly but I managed it so if we look at the page here I've just got a uh, little save button down there <clears throat> and on the page itself is that button it's got an on click 
event of uh, save map and if we go look at that function that functions here say uh, so the save map function uh, we start off by implementing a new variable called tile and that's going to be a new array uh, following on from that we specify the variable of solid and that solid is going to contain the state the solid state of each tile right so then we're going to run uh, an each loop and we're running an each loop on um, a direct div of the map box that is not got the class of jQuery drag to select which is that um, drag box that drag boxes class we're then capturing um, the key and the value of each um, each loop within the function because we're going to be using the key um, shortly right so we uh, we open up the, func uh, the function inside the each loop and we instantly set the variable solid to zero <coughs> and then we run an if command uh, an if statement inside of that and we say if this um, children the any children with uh, the tile dash solid if the length so that's saying if there are any you know it's counting how many children are inside of this particular div which has the class name of tile dash solid uh, so if the length returned is more than zero then we um, say we set the variable of solid to one after, well, after we close the if statement we then um, initiate a tile uh, variable and we're selecting the first first index of uh, the whole each loop array, uh, each loop, and we're putting it into the tile array. So on the first iteration of the each loop, that'd be zero, then it'd be one, two, etc. And we're making it equal, um, and we're turning it into a multi multi-dimensional array. And we say that the class is equal to this attribute, this class's attribute, so the contents of this class. And then we're setting the solid state to whatever the solid variable equals. Right, so this next part, we're using a um, plugin. And it's a Yahoo plugin. If we have a look up here, these are the um, two includes we need, and um, they're taken from the Yahoo Yahooapolis no Yahoo Apis <laughs> um, library store, and you can find that page right here. It's developer.yahoo.com/slash yui slash json and it tells you how to um, it gives you the the two scripts you need to include and it looks like my time is now running out so after when we come back in the next video I'll explain um, passing the data over to a PHP file and writing it to an XML file so I'll see you in the next video.